It's been nearly two years since Suzanne Jones was murdered in Hagerstown by a man who had recently been released from a Washington County prison. Two Maryland delegates say the number of people released in that particular county is ridiculously high, making the chances of reoffending more likely. Our Jess Arnold has more on how those state leaders want to help released inmates better transition and protect the public with a new bill. She was still my baby and she was right there. Right near this building off of Cleveland Ave in Hagerstown is where a recently released inmate murdered Suzanne Jones on October 17th, 2017, just half a mile away from where her mother lives. Her murderer was previously convicted on drug charges in Frederick County, but sentenced to time in a Washington County prison. That's where he was released on probation not long before the attack. This shines a light on a serious problem that we have. Very. Because we have three state prisons right here in Hagerstown. And it's crazy, crazy, some of the statistics. Delegate Paul Quarterman's team shared that crazy statistic Sharice Mills is referring to. Since 2015, about 70% of the more than 1,700 inmates released in Washington County were serving sentences for convictions in other jurisdictions. Delegates Quarterman and Jason Buckle believe that if people are released back into a familiar community, they'll have a better support system and resources for reintegrating into society, and consequently, they think, the public will be safer. If I can prevent something like this from happening to somebody else, I'm on board. And even if it doesn't get passed this year, I'm going to be there next year because I really want somebody else to not have to do what I had to do. In Hagerstown, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9. Now, that bill is scheduled for a hearing in the House Judiciary Committee on March 12th, and the delegates anticipate bipartisan support.